Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory wipe your iPhone. Now, this is something you want to do if you're looking to sell, give away, or trade in your device, or simply upgrading it to a new device and you don't want any of your data and apps longer on your iPhone, so you want to wipe it to factory settings. So let's get started. So the first thing before you even do that is if you're going to be looking to move your data over, make sure you back it up or if you already have, make sure it's already transferred over if you have a new phone. In order to back up, so you can do it through your settings by going through your Apple ID and iCloud and then there's an iCloud backup option. You can do backup now so your data is backed up to the cloud so you can of course restore it to another device. And I recommend is restoring to another device, make sure everything is there before you do this because once we factory wipe this iPhone, you can no longer go back and get that data. So in the settings here, once you're ready, just simply go into settings, uh, general, scroll down here. There's gonna be an option for transfer reset iPhone. You're gonna click on that. The option you wanna do is erase all content and settings. When you do that, it's gonna tell you what's gonna get erased or wiped out on this iPhone. Things like any apps you downloaded, any of your personal data from photos, videos, uh, documents, songs, music, whatever you have. Also will get wiped your Apple ID once you enter the password to remove your Apple ID account. And it will also turn off Find My so it's not linked with your account any longer. So once you're ready, hit continue. And then we'll click on Erase here. And then it's going to try to do a backup just in case if you didn't do a backup. You can uh, wait till this process is complete. And then once that is complete, or you can skip it if you don't want to back it up. You're going to need to enter your Apple ID password that was signed in on this device so it can remove your Find My and the active activation log. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my Apple ID password. Now, once you enter your Apple ID password, you're simply going to click this turn off option here. Sometimes you may have to click it a few times where, see, it doesn't work right away. So just go ahead and keep on clicking on this. Eventually, it will start the process. And this is the process beginning. Now, this process should take a few minutes. During this process, one thing I do recommend is that make sure your phone has enough charge. I recommend at least 50% or more charge. You don't want the phone to die or have a very low battery because you want to see this process through. And the way to know this is successful, it's gonna take you back to the hello screen or the main screen where you initially set up things like your uh, language, country, and region which I'm going to show you. So this is going to be all in real time just to show you. Now this phone did not have much data, so it's going to be much quicker. But if you were to have tons of data, like a lot of photos, videos, apps that needs to get uh, erased or wiped out, that will take a little bit longer. But generally, again, five to 10 minutes max, it will wipe out your phone back to factory setting, making it ready for the next user, whether you're selling, trading in, or simply just storing it away this is what you're going to want to do so as you can see here it's going through the process it's going to show the apple logo a few times which is completely fine you're going to see the menu loading bar comes up a few times as well again all part of the process and let it do its thing while it's doing its thing if you haven't hit that subscribe button do consider that as we make tons of videos on for your iphone and other ios devices try to make helpful videos for you guys so if you do want to support our channel hit that subscribe button and as we're waiting here it should finish i believe any second now but again this is all in real time and so i we're not editing any of the part out here and as you can see here when i get to this hello screen which is evident on the newer ios version it's to indicate that as you can see here, i can select the language it's been successfully factory wiped and we're good to go so that's how you wipe out iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.